I think my first love of anything in life was mountain biking. Just being outdoors, like, I had a lot of anxiety growing up. Like, I still get anxiety today, but I noticed that when, once I had an outlet, that helped me so much as a child. I've always known that I, I wanted to have kids. I just knew, like, I, I wanted to have a child that I can, like, pass this life to. It's really hard for me sometimes because even though I trust Kyle and I trust my dad and my mom or whoever else is watching her, I am constantly thinking like, oh, well, did they put her down in the crib properly? Or is she on her face? Or did she have enough to eat? Or is she hungry? Is she okay? I think about everything. I think about her well-being and her happiness. Kyle told me one time when I went out for a training ride, he's like, you can't always think about that because you're going to crash. <laughs> you have to like kind of turn it off at some point. I was born in California. Great. By the trees, came out from the mountain. Hearts are following the breeze. One more night, and I'll be sleeping here out in West Virginia. Don't seem right for me to be so far from home. Would be nice to march my feet down the old Sequoia. Yeah, those pines and those hills can bend my soul. Cause I was born in California. Raised by the tree. My biggest fear, telling my sponsors that I was pregnant, that I would not have sponsorship anymore. I mean, you never know. Like, I, in my heart, I truly didn't think that would happen, but there's always, like, the chance. Because when you're pregnant, you can't race, you can't perform. Allison Felix. Allison Felix is the most decorated track athlete in the world, and she just won Olympic gold. When she announced to Nike that she was pregnant, they dropped her to 70% salary, and she went on to win the Olympic gold medal and crush her record by like an insane amount. And I was like, I don't really understand this. So there is always the possibility that you could, it could just not work out or, you know, the marketing director at the time doesn't understand it. So I got lucky and we're doing it. But yeah, the fear was, it was definitely there. <laughs> you know, Rachel is so dialed, like as a human and as a mom, that like I'm never worried about, is Stevie gonna have food? Is she gonna have diapers? I just gotta grab my bag and the toolbox. I'm never worried about that stuff, ever. You know, I'm like, oh, you got that? Yeah, I got it. Okay, sweet.
every time I do go out for a ride, I know that I'm lucky to be able to. I try and like put 100% effort in. Hello. I've gotten this question a lot. If Stevie doesn't like mountain biking, what am I gonna do? I'll be okay with it. I hope that what she does want to do is some type of physical activity that is challenging her and that is driving her. I want Stevie to walk into a room and have the confidence to, to be able to stand tall and, and know that she can accomplish anything. Maybe she'll be into horseback riding. You know, we got the land for it. We could have horses <laughs> or whatever she's into. We'll see. I want to try and, and still be a top athlete, but I have to be reasonable and I have to be fair with my own expectations of what I'm able to accomplish in this first year. What color is your hair? I think it's going to turn blonde. I'm still struggling with getting the fitness part back of being a racer. For a while there, my balance was super off. I mean, you think about it, I had this massive belly in front of me for so long. <laughs> so the physical aspect is gonna come, but being a mom makes you mentally stronger because of the things that you go through. One of the best things about Rachel as a mom is watching the progression of Rachel as my daughter. I think one of the major things that I've seen in Rachel and Kyle it's a lot of work, but they never, ever despise it. And I have yet to see one time when they get over it. And I think that is a real unknown about any adult who has a child. Being a dad, it's scary before, and once you're in it, it's like hitting a drop or it's like anything. You know, anything you're scared to do, like on a mountain bike, it's like the same thing having a kid you're like the unknown is scary and you start jumping into it and you're like oh okay i think i got this and then you land and you're like oh sick what's the next thing i gotta do there's like this fear that when you have a baby that your life is over and i do not agree with that at all your life is not over when you have a child. It's just different. You adapt. You have a new life. And your life is more fulfilling in a lot of ways. I would 100% say that my life is not over, but my life has begun in a new way. And that, that excites me for the future because I know that there's going to be so many more fulfilling things that are coming. Who's reaching? Definitely uh, Kyle, yeah, 100%. Reacher, Kyle's definitely the reacher in the relationship. <laughs> well, I'm sure it was asked to Rachel, and we probably have the same answer. <laughs> no, he will, say the other, he will say the opposite. But I definitely settled, Rachel's the reacher. And it's, you know, it's tough for her, but it's what the truth is. <laughs>